Today I want to take a look at verifying Active Directory credentials through REST API. So the concept is we want to send a domain name, username, and password to an API and then get a response, true or false, if it's a valid credential. In order to get started, I opened up my web API generator and we'll go ahead and put in a name for our project called Verify AD. What this does is generate a zip file with the entire Visual Studio project that we'll need. Over here I've got a SharePoint 2013 virtual machine with a team site and we have access to the temp folder where we have our Verify AD zip that was created from the Azure website. So that generator saves us a lot of time because it creates a Visual Studio project with the proper name. It has the namespace, the controller, and all the dependent assemblies for building an API. When you do file new and use the MVC default template, you end up with a lot of extras for the MVC framework that we really don't need when we're doing an API only. So this is a very lightweight project. What you'll see is it has a a web config with just a tiny amount of code to load the necessary assemblies. It has a web API.config. This has the routing for controllers. And we have a single hello controller that echoes back the current date and time as hello. If you do control shift B to build, what'll happen is it'll invoke the NuGet download and start to download packages. There we can see all the NuGet packages being downloaded. And with all of those downloaded, we can see our project will successfully build. If we go ahead and execute the project, F5 to run, we'll see localhost 2069. We are getting an exception on the web config. Well, what I'd like to do is go ahead and take the project and add to it. We're going to add a class for configuration. So we'll add a class to the root. C sharp code class. The name of it can be verify AD settings. Almost the same name as the original project. And for that, we are going to have a bunch of public strings. And our namespace is going to be a little different with dot controllers in order to match what we have here for verify AD controllers. Down here in the post method, we're going to copy over a little code block that I've got ready where it assumes the is valid is fault. That's our default setting. And then we create a principal context. We provided a domain. We provided a user, a password. Go ahead and save this, build the project. And we're getting an exception about the principal context namespace. So I think over here in references, we need to add one for system directory services, account management. The same thing over here with the using system directory services, account management. Now that we have that extra reference, we can build again. Getting closer, here we want settings to be the object coming in of type verify AD settings. That looks better. So our post method is going to read in a JSON structure that matches. Return is valid, is valid false, returns void. Ah. The method needs to return boolean, not void. And we can build again. So that's the construction of our REST API. I mean, it, it's most simple. It's the boolean valid is false, execute a principal context with the parameters, and then return that new value. It may remain false or it might change to true. So within this for security, we're going to go ahead and do a try catch as well. If anything occurs in the attempted validation that doesn't go through, it's not going to echo an error message. It's simply going to return false. 
and that will protect us from exposing any security information from this method if there were an exception that occurs. So it won't tell you that the password was bad but the username was good. Those sort of details will be left out. It'll just return false that it, it was not a successful validation. So with that complete, let's go ahead and do right click publish. We're going to select web deploy and put this in the C temp folder. It's doing the build and the packaging now. So here's a deploy folder. There's our web deploy zip. Over in IIS, we can take our SharePoint website and we can add to it. Go ahead and put in verify AD zip. And we'll take out the word underscore deploy. We'll leave it at just verify AD. We'll do next. Yes to overwrite. It's deploying the artifacts to IIS. Now we see under portal we have verify AD and the content view shows us this is where our web config and readme are at. So if I went to my browser and did HTTP portal slash verify AD, that should open up the readme and kind of show the main page of this application. Okay, verify AD, readme ASPX. So there's our home page. So we know it installed correctly because we're able to view the readme. Now over here in Fiddler, what we can do is do F9 Composer. We can execute a git request over to the endpoint and we can do API hello execute. F8 to inspect the response and we see Saturday September 22nd with a hello. So it is returning valid JSON. Now if we go back to the composer and we change from a git to a post and we say that the content type is application slash JSON. Now in the body we can provide those three parameters that the domain would be demo, the user would be SP farm, the password would be letter P. Go back over here and check things. We have user, password, domain, looks like a match. Go ahead and execute that request. We get back a 200 simply with the word true in it. That was a valid credential. I'm going to change out the password here to something different and hit execute. I have another 200 to inspect. This one says false. I go back over and put in some random username that's not valid. I could even leave out password as a parameter entirely. Go ahead and execute something that will get an exception and failure. We are still getting an HTTP 200 that says false. So it doesn't return exception details and it will only return true in the very specific case that we have a valid username, SP farm, and we have a valid password of P. Execute that, inspect, also returning false. So now we have an API that you can use for electronic signatures to validate credentials. Imagine like a JavaScript form where people put in a username and password to electronically sign a form and then inside of that it'll get a true or false to know if it's valid. And we can do that all with REST API, a minimal amount of .NET code, and we just put the code right here in the post method and provide it the three public strings as part of the settings. Thanks for watching.